Hello YouTube, this is Professor Edwards. I'm here today to give you a tutorial on how to measure continuity, voltage, and resistance in ohms. So first thing we want to do is we take our multimeter and we'll plug in the probes. The black one we'll put in the bottom where it says common or negative. The red one we'll plug into where it says volt ohm milliamp, this middle hole. And then I'll take the selector switch and we're going to put it here on this little diode symbol. This particular model has a, b a buzzer on it so you can hear it. And we're going to test continuity. Super easy. Take your test probes. You can see that the meter right now is reading 1 on the far left. What that means is that it's overrange, it's infinite. Uh, <clears throat> lots of resistance. But when we take the probes and we press them together, you can hear it beep and you can see the resistance value goes down to near zero. This is very handy for measuring continuity uh, in a circuit to see if you have an open circuit. Alright, the next thing we're going to measure are some voltages. So I'm going to take my meter and I'm going to put it over here to the DC voltage section and right now it's on 20 volts. So I'm going to take my battery and it has a positive and a negative. The positive is this larger one. It doesn't matter if I put it on there backwards or not. I'll show you. So this is the, the larger one is positive and the small one is negative. Oh, I got that backwards, sorry. The larger one is the negative, and you can see that it just reads backwards if you have it plugged in backwards. So that shows 9.3 volt or 9.53 volts. If we happen to reverse the wires, you notice that you'll get a negative sign in the display. Minus 9.5 volts. Okay, so that's a 9 volt battery. We can also test one of these triple A's or a double A. The negative is on this end and the positive is on the end with the little bump. We just push our probes on there and you can see the voltage here is 1.6 volts. So this is a, a good little battery. That's what it should say. If I just turn this over and connect the leads backwards, you can see again, you'll get a negative voltage. All right. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to measure some resistance on some resistors. To do that, you have this section that has an ohm symbol here. And we're going to start, you always start at the low. If you don't know the resistance, we're going to pull out one of our resistors here. There's a color code and you can figure it out if you can see that tiny those tiny bands, but I'm just going to measure it here. So I hold the probe with my fingers and hold it on the other side. And I sit, it has, it's still one, so that means it's over range. So I'll go up to the next setting, 2000 ohms. So what that means, it's still over range, which means it's more than 2000 ohms. So let's go up to 20K. Well, it's still over range, so it means it's more than 20,000 ohms. So now I'm on the 200K ohm. And look at that, we get a reading. So this is, it reads 66.8. So since we're on the 200 kilo ohm range, that means this resistor is 6, 66K, 66.6K or 66,000 ohms. So I'm just gonna put that back in our little proto board here. I'm gonna grab another resistor and we're gonna check and see what that resistances. Again, let's start down at the lower range and see what we get. I'm holding the leads with my fingers on there. And here, we got something briefly. So let's go up. It means it's more than 200 ohms. 
just over 200 ohms. This is 218 ohms, 217 ohms. All right, so that's how you can measure resistance. So now, next, we're going to build a little circuit and measure some current. So I'm going to pause it, and we'll be right back. All right, I've set up a circuit here with my battery pack going into the positive rail on my protoboard, the negative part of the battery pack on the negative rail. And I've set up a circuit in this area with an LED connected to the positive rail. And then I've got two circuit choices. I can go through the LED through one of the low resistors and I can measure the current. And LED also I can measure the current through the uh, higher value resistor. To begin with, I've set the multimeter on the 200 milliohm full scale. And let's see what we get. Now, in, when we do current, we have to measure through the meter. I'll show you how that's done. So there's no connection between here and here right now. So I'm going to put my probe on the negative lead. You see I'm touching the little wire. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the lead. Let me zoom in here. See if we can get all of this in. Okay. So I have my meter see that and I'm going to put the probe in the that will light up because the meter is actually completing the circuit and you can see on the meter I can get a steady connection that's measuring about four four or five milliamps through that LED and that's through the 200 ohm resistor that we just measured previously. Now the other resistor is a higher value, so I'm going to put that on there. And I don't know, you can see the LED lights up barely. So there's not much current flowing. My fingers are in the way of the meter. So I'm going to change the range to a smaller value. I'm going to go to 20 milliamp full scale. Oh, now we've got a little bit. I'm going to change it down to 2,000 microamps full scale. So you can see through that resistor, we're just not getting a lot of current. There, it's about. 10 microamps is all. So anyway, that's how you measure current. And that's our tutorial for today. Thanks.